With its all-wheel drive system configured to drive the front wheels only when the rears start spinning, the Diablo VT retains its rear drive character, but with an extra margin of stability. Although aggressive use of throttle can still bring the tail out, power oversteer is much milder than the standard Diablo, and power can be put down sooner. With the capability of accelerating to 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds and attaining the fastest top speed of the group at just over 200 miles per hour, the Diablo VT is a formidable presence on either road or track. A direct descendant of the sharp-edged Countach that practically coined the term exotic, the Lamborghini Diablo retains the mid-mounted 4-cam V12 swing up doors and all the excitement of the original in a more rounded smoothed over form. Look closely and you'll see slightly larger engine air intakes and brake ducts that are the distinguishing marks of the VT, the all-wheel drive version of the Diablo. Never before has a Lamborghini put its power to the ground so efficiently. All-wheel drive that incorporates a mid-mounted viscous coupling helps put the VT's monstrous 492 horsepower to the ground. Chassis construction is similar to the Ferrari's with a tubular space frame, but aluminum alloy body panels are augmented by a steel roof and strategically placed panels of carbon fiber. Unlike the high-pitched scream of the 512 TR's engine, the Diablo's all-alloy 48-valve V12 resonates with a deep brassiness. Think of a dozen trombones. The roots of the Lamborghini Diablo go back to a small factory in Cento, Italy, where a mechanic turned industrialist started his career building tractors under the Lamborghini family name. Ferruccio Lamborghini's passion for exotic cars eventually changed the focus of his mechanical and entrepreneurial energies. And in 1964, the first Lamborghini production car was brought to market. Called the 350 GT, its hood emblem depicted a charging bull a reference to Ferruccio Lamborghini's astrological sign of Taurus. The Mura P400, a V12-powered sports car named after a Spanish breed of fighting bull, sent other manufacturers back to the drawing board with its mid-engine design. Although well-received and often cited as the most beautiful Lamborghini ever designed, the Mura was replaced by the Countach in the mid-70s. Despite a difficult gestation period, the Countach became one of the most highly revered and sought-after true exotics. It then evolved, with basic configuration intact, into the more modern-looking and aerodynamically efficient Diablo.